Hello everybody. I am on a little solo mish today and I happen to have the mighty, the mighty old Red River just behind me here and I'm going to do some fishing but at the same time I am going to cook some food. I'm going to cook myself up a little snack. So what I have is a burbot loin and I'm making a burbot roll like a burbot po' boy similar to uh, a lobster roll so the burbot is kind of one of these fish that gets a, a bad rap because they're uh, kind of slimy they don't have scales there's they, they've got skin and and they're quite hard to hold on to they sort of remind me of an eel and they're in a lot of freshwater lakes. Um, they're in the Red River. They're in Lake Winnipeg here. They're just a beautiful fish. They have this insane sort of leopard pattern on them. And you can't beat a good burbot. So one of the most common things um, people say when they see a picture of a burbot or hear about somebody eating burbot is they say, oh, poor man's lobster. Um, which indeed it is the poor man's lobster. It has a really cool uh, texture to it and it's uh it's a little more um fishy which is good when you're eating fish you want fish to taste like fish it's not your vanilla sort of walleye flavor that doesn't taste like really much of anything um it has this really cool aroma and taste to it just due to the oils that are naturally in a burbot and it's really nutritious so i wanted to take a bit of a spin on what uh you know a, a lobster roll is and and make a burbot lobster roll essentially back to the the burbot and sort of the main thing that um the main recipe that people will use or that i hear is boiling the meat in seven up i know and then taking the meat out of the seven up once boiled and cooking it in a little butter i'm i can get behind the butter part the 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 sprite or seven up part is is just uh it's a little bit of a strange thing and i i think the idea there is that it sweetens up the meat um which gives it that lobstery profile but i just can't get behind boiling anything in sodi pop so i'm not doing that we're gonna take this beautiful burbot loin that i've got we're cooking it in butter browning it a little bit and mixing it up with some other ingredients, putting it in a toasted bun and making a delicious lobster roll with burbot. We're making a delicious burbot roll and I'm going to be fishing while doing so. We're going to do that right now. I'm going to gear up and drill some holes, get everything set up for fishing and come back and start cooking this burbot roll. Stick around. Gotta do the classic trunk opening shot. All right, so I got some of my gear out of the car and uh, got my bibs on just so I could stay cozy. And I'm just gonna go drill a couple holes and use this guy to see if I can find some good water. And by good water, I mean just some kind of depth that I feel comfortable fishing in. And uh, this is just a depth finder. It's called a flasher, if you don't know. And it's basically a cheating machine for fishermen. And uh, I'm gonna use it to check my depth. And I'll be able to see where my lure is and I'll be able to see if a fish comes by and sniffs my bait. So yeah, cheating device for anglers. <sighs> Time to drill holes. Don't forget your rod bait and tackle. Uh, 
that works. All right, so normally I'd have some sort of chef knife along with me. I usually bring them everywhere I go, but I totally forgot today. So I'm gonna use this thing. This is like a pretty amazing little knife and it is factory sharp. So I think it's gonna do the job. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna heat up this pan, uh, just like a really nice nonstick pan and get that thing warmed up. Saute the burbot in some butter, cook that until it's cooked through. And then we'll start mixing the rest of the ingredients together in a bowl put them in the bun and that's essentially it so since i'm just making one roll for myself i've got my burbot loin and i'm just going to get some butter going in the pan warm that up and start chopping ingredients let's get that butter going So I'm just gonna cut this into chunks, about half inch or so. Somewhat like you would get chunks in a lobster roll. We'll season that with a little salt and pepper. That butter's looking really nice, so let's toss these guys in. yard sailed my dill. I'm gonna get my celery going. I want this to be really fine. It's almost like we're making a somewhat of a salad, like a chicken salad sort of idea. Look at that already. Woo! Looking good. The smell is nuts coming off this. It just has this beautiful seafood type of flavor to it. All right, so this is going in the bowl. We've got our celery. I definitely want some dill in there. I just really like that dill flavor in something like this. I'm just gonna pick those stalks off. Chop this up nice and fine. in the bowl. I also really like cilantro, so you don't have to go too crazy with the cilantro, but I'm gonna chop this up and get some pieces off of it. Toss some of that in the bowl. That's probably good. All right, so that butter is gonna have an amazing flavor to it. It's nice and brown, and uh, that fish is just looking way too good. So that's pretty much done. I'm just gonna put that off to the side for a second and get, uh, get the rest of this going. So here's what we need to do. We're adding some mayo to this. I've got just like a natural mayo. It's not like a Miracle Whip. It's just a straight up mayonnaise. We wanna mix that around. I'm just gonna add the fish and stir that around. Once I add it, we will put the, um, a squeeze of lemon in there, keep on mixing it toast our bun and put that in the bun. All right, so fish is going into the mayo mix. Ooh, it is looking good. And I'm going to make sure I leave some of this butter in the pan, warm it back up a bit and get this bun toasted on both sides. As the bun is toasting, we're going to add a little lemon to this mix don't go too crazy mix it all about Woo. so your classic lobster roll scenario is toasting both sides of the bun and making a slice down the middle where you're going to place all your delicious burbot meat oh yeah looking great so we've got this bad boy, and we're just gonna load it up. 
with our burbot. And the classic finish on this is to just hit it with some chive. So I'm gonna fine cut some chive here. Dust those chives right on top. Oh my gosh. Presentation wise, you know, dill just looks so nice. Just break off these cute little spears, put those on top. Fennel does the same trick. And of course there's a chainsaw going on in the background. Reckon my video. That's it, yeah, that's the one. Oh my gosh. Okay, this thing's looking so good. Um, I wanna dig into it, but I need to take some B-roll and some photos first. So I'm gonna grab the other camera, take a few little photos, and uh, then we're gonna taste it. Ready for this? Here it is. There's a chainsaw going on in the background. It's driving me nuts. Okay, there it is. The beautiful poor man's lobster roll. Let's dig in. Gotta be kidding me. I got something on my face. Oh my gosh. You guys. The texture of that burbot, it just gets so solid and firm. Like, typically with a lot of the fish we're catching, especially walleyes, you cook it and it just sort of breaks apart. The burbot holds its texture so well and it just gets more firm and it has, it just has that mild um, seafood type aroma to it. And it's freaking delightful. It's amazing. So, man, do not ever cook a burbot again in Sprite. Do this, do one of these, you're, you're gonna love it. You can make variations of this. You can add different herbs into it. Um, kind of make it your own. That dill is really, really good in there. I think I'd like it with maybe a little bit of fine diced red onion in there to add a little bit of that peppery sweetness. Um, but this is golden, that celery. It's, it's beautiful is what I'm trying to say. This thing is beautiful. I'm gonna finish the rest of this thing. Um, you gotta try this. Uh, if you don't have burbot, grab some other kind of fish. I'm assuming this would be really good with other fish as well. So just use what you have and uh, get yourself outside. Make yourself some wicked food. And uh, until then, I'll see you around.